good morning. Um, we are out here on January 4th waiting on uh, the soil scientists to come out to do the uh, soil testing, the, the perk test, uh, which will tell us what kind of septic system we can have. I'm told this is going to take one to two hours, being it's a high of 33 and windy out here, it's going to be a cold one. I've got my trusty assistant Bo with me. You can see, hey Bo, Bo, hey. The joys of trying to get a deaf dog's attention. Uh, if Steve, the soil scientist, will let me film while he's doing this, I will do so. Uh, if not, I'll kind of go over it afterwards real quick uh, and, and talk about the processes. Um, cause like I mentioned before, I've never built from scratch myself before I've remodeled homes. I've built homes with my dad, uh, uh, but he always handled all the administrative stuff. Uh, I've never had to, uh, so I'm learning as I go, uh, and, uh, we'll try and explain it. Thanks. You can see, I have not had a chance to mow all of this down yet. Uh, and the deal is that it has been raining, not quite every day or snowing so much that the ground was saturated. Uh, but now I'm out here today after uh, about a week um, where it has not rained steady and it does feel pretty solid. I think we'll be okay. Uh, it's supposed to rain on Saturday. <laughs> um, if I can, maybe I'll try and get out here uh, tomorrow right after work and, and get it mowed down once. We'll see. The grays I do, the yeah. Bright, bright orange, it's rust like color. Uh, looks like it's about 10 inches. So, okay. overall, it's consistent, sort of. Yeah, yeah. It, you got a bump, but it's not big enough to put a, a system on. Sure. So, that gives you a problem there. Sure, up on this bit of a rise. Now, yeah. we've got about 12 inches of topsoil here. Okay. It's not bad. It's, that's good because there's no models in it. That's what you're looking for. Sure. Always lose it first first time anyhow. Oh well, that's okay. I just poke it out. That's thirteen. This is better than out there. Okay. So maybe we put the septic system in the front yard. Yeah. Well. But it might not be a septic system, okay? It'll be up to the design. Right, right. It may be mound or... I don't even be, know all the options, but... If it's a mound, I would recommend putting it in the back. Sure. Because you got eight inches of surface on top before it gets wet. But uh, if it's an aeration system, then you got a possibility here. Okay. Down to 24 and no gray models yet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's 30. <sighs> Glacial till, and we got gray models about 24 inches. Okay, that's 20 to 24 inches is where your gray models are on this rise. On this rise, yes, and it's eight to, eight to uh, 12 out there. 
Right. So he is pacing the front section that we've kind of laid out here for the septic. We've got a rise right here, but it's basically not wide enough to be able to run the whole septic on it. What he's doing now is testing the alternate site here. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got some black locust thorns all over. I gotta watch for those too. Yeah, they'll go right through a tractor tire. He just tied some blaze orange string onto a bush there. I will have to remember to bury some stakes out if he needs these in place to stay. As I mow, I'll pull them, mow them out with the stake back in place. Yes. <laughs> the secondary site here at the back of the property. I hope because it was higher up that it might be better uh, than towards the front. But we're actually seeing that the glacial till, like, like you said, is, is even shallower in places here. And so the property is consistent, but it's consistently not great uh, for a, a septic system. So um, building. Dad did mount systems on a couple um, and uh, he wasn't scared of it so neither am I.